is that they not only uh, make the game more straight regarding player progression, so there's no these optional challenges. They increase the difficulty. They put on trigger events. They put on skip it. They put on some visual prog visual progression with cosmetics, which again I didn't see in here uh, in the previous builds. And yeah, it seems money started, you know, dropping from the sky. That's, <laughs> well, they made that, it that's how I see. This is a no bullshit gaming show where we talk about games and their revenue in great detail, powered by our ad monetization, game design, and user acquisition triple threat expertise. Welcome to the two and a half gamers, the unfiltered truth served with a side of giggles. Let's not forget this is a 4 a.m. conference discussion vibe, so let's not take it too seriously. Tune in now and stay two and a half steps ahead of the gaming industry. Jakub Junior is actually really happy about us, us recording, don't worry. Exactly. <laughs> You can see that. I can see that. Yeah, thank you for uh, tuning in. Uh, I guess you heard our uh, and saw our new intro. So uh, uh, let us know what you think about no, it. We're going to be a bit more Welcome. excited. This is our hundredth uh, episode. I guess this is like, like yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, well, uh, is it? I mean, we already it's passed one hundred. Way the hundred one we counted. <laughs> yeah, exactly. One hundred we counted. So I guess it's. Uh, I mean, we can call it one hundred. But yeah, let's. Uh, I mean, let's say let's say it's one hundred. So yeah. the Yay, channel has woo. nearly one hundred and seventy videos. Yeah. Just so I mean, yeah. So <laughs> yes, we we way past oh. that. I mean, so, wait, and honestly, so I yeah, we don't for, care about for the numbers really too much. And... <laughs> <laughs> All right. No, no, we should be excited nothing. about the game we are going to talk about because we are talking. I am. No, no, we're going to talk about Twisted Tangle, and we have a fucking delay because where you are, Felix, is what like in the middle of mountains. Yes. <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. It's going to be a fun episode. Hopefully, you're going to be just uh, quiet and then maybe we, we will come back. Yeah, shit, exactly. Uh, welcome back. <laughs> anyway, uh, so let's see, let's see how, it, how it's going to work. Uh, so you're not going to. Yeah, You'll hear I, yodeling. Gonna, That's kind me. Of, <laughs> I hope so. Okay, good. Then, yeah, oh, um, quick quick comment about our last week because last week was amazing we had the yeah we had an event in istanbul and it was i think it, it went quite well well quite well meaning super well uh like 200 people 200 people we had our yeah it was first ever event that we've done so you can actually expect us uh starting doing this a little bit more often uh yeah i think you know you should just join our slack channel where we announced this and it was more like um need to know basis first but now yeah we're gonna definitely go big in the, in the, in the future yeah uh anything else uh we should talk about before we jump into um regarding the event anything we will be sharing afterwards yes i think the, so people know yes we're gonna share the the presentations in the slack channel and then some photos and then there's gonna be a video a short one on wednesday so yeah well stay tuned we'll keep you posted yeah. so the more reasons to join the slack if you yeah, don't 100%. know how there's a link in this podcast in our posts it's pretty much everywhere yes and it's open it's open for everyone and you can find all the interesting information uh, in there and we're getting also quite an interesting um, feedback from you guys, which says, you know, uh, why you are actually watching or listening to our No Bullshit Gaming show. It's because this is not a corporate vibe and it's, you know, being two and a half steps ahead of the rest uh, of the industry, which is nice. And we actually talk about tactics and details and numbers. So thank you very much. Uh, based on our personal opinions and those personal opinions are based on our experience because this is our day-to-day -day job so uh okay enough bullshit let's just dive into twisted tangle which actually came from you guys i mean we were kind of watching it from the sidelines but it was you who brought it up to our attention so thank you very much who is starting Jakub? what is the level everybody wants to know uh because then yes 
we had this small small competition in our in our Slack channel, uh, like who is gonna hit what kind of level. And man, no, Kamen that, definitely no. went. A l- where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Yeah, he's, oh, he's fucking uh, yes. I am one hundred five. Yes, <laughs> two levels. Yes, fuck guys, me, guys, nice. guys, guys. There you go. I'm one hundred and six. What? No way. No way you are not. No, I'm lying. I'm 87. <laughs> well, no, of course. <laughs> not even 87. Come on, man. Like, you are not even 87. Just don't lie. I am. No, I am. No. But you can't play this. Uh, you, can't, you, can't, you can't play this game on airplane mode, which is really yes, annoying. That's, yeah. yeah, that sucks. Yeah. Anyway, so we had this uh, small competition, a cover cover, our um, fan. He and his colleague, they are 181. And 178. So, guys, yep. yeah, you won this you beat us. Uh, Nice. Yeah, but like it's, it was very enjoyable, I would say. Like, honestly, one of the and most really enjoyable hard. kind of puzzle games. I don't even want, know if I can call it puzzle games. Uh, but because it is it, a puzzle. Come on. It is a puzzle, but it's very, very unique. This is not something that we had here before. I'll, I'll get to it. Yeah. But yeah, okay. uh, before, uh, yeah, we stop kind of level flashing let's talk a little bit about uh what level flashing just yeah (laughs) what's the what's the overall framing and why are we talking about this and who is this coming from so twisted tangle is uh, a game currently sitting on rolling portfolio and why are we talking about it because uh yeah we kind of missed it based (laughs) on our hybrid radar because the game is literally like the second biggest hybrid based on ip revenue that we see if we how can i could how could we miss this because it's hard radar hard and i even had the talk in istanbul about this that uh looking for hybrids is really like there's no filter there's nothing you literally need to know them in order to kind yeah, of get them true. somewhere because nobody even knows what hybrid is. I cannot go here even near Sensor Tower and just says like give me all the hybrids. There's nothing there. Is that, is that you apologizing, like Jakub? It's not apologizing. I'm just st- stating how it is because like <laughs> finding yo, yo, hybrids yo, yo, yo. is hard. I think, I think that but was anyway, an apology. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> our friends from Aggressive Games reached out, if I understand, or Rolik? Rolik. Rolik. Rolik directly. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So the game... Uh, scale to something like 130k a day in IP revenue. Currently, it's a little bit stabilized. Which is like, even more if we count the sadness multiplier. Yeah, yeah exactly. I would say. Uh, regarding the downloads, it's scaled to something like 350k a day. And yes. Like somewhere in the middle of February, now it's a little bit more stabilized, but still kind of yeah, going but strong. Yeah, but like... It's India only. I was checking it. It's just ah, yeah, yeah. Okay, if you just okay. go to US only, then it's uh, it's completely different uh, story. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, but it's still kind of a pretty it's high. It's pretty decent. Anyway. Yeah, because the revenue stayed the same. Right. It yeah, stayed yeah. quite flat. Yeah. Exactly. So the game was released on April twenty fifth. And you could see here on the chart that before it was literally a hyper casual hit. Like there was minimal IP revenue, probably just that usual kind of no ads bundle, yeah. nothing really there. And then suddenly in December, it started scaling very rapidly, literally tenfolded the IP revenue and then continuing on the growth curve to something like 130k. So there's, there's the hybrid easy. part of it. Yeah, easy. Um, the thing is that currently, if I understand it correctly, is the second hybrid in my list. It's a little bit higher than uh, Block Jam 3D. If I get it right, Block Jam is doing something like 80k a day in IPs. But the important factor is that Block Jam is doing something like, I don't know, let's say without the spikes, like 30k downloads a day. Uh, Twisted Tangle is doing still even after the like a decline 75 or like 80k a day. So I guess Mr. Felix here would have a little bit more chat about the ad revenue <laughs> that's kind of happening there. I have quite uh, the say. other interesting thing as I was looking at Rolik, yeah, yeah, we'll get to it. The other interesting thing, just noting, uh, maybe we'll return to Rolik portfolio because I've seen two more games here, which is Bash Gem and Screw Gem, which are both kind of scaling aggressively on IP revenue. 
Ooh. Bold nearly hitting the magic 33k a day oy, 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 mark, oy, oy, oy. where Bashjam it already hit it this Bash week. is yeah, I see, I see it's quite uh, in- increasing the whole kind of uh, IIP revenues. Lately. Yeah, yeah. So even pretty heavy on download side. So I guess uh, as per prediction, if you have one hybrid, the next hybrid is probably much easier. So that's that's what we get for consolidation. But yeah, back to Twisted Tangle. Uh, it's very, very unique, and it's made by Aggressive Game Studio, uh, which is like a Turkish local studio. <laughs> As we were in Istanbul, it's a yes, Turkish it's studio. Yeah. Yeah. It's local. Uh, I, I spoke actually to Kubra. She's the designer. Uh, very, very nice. innovative team. And I really need to hand, hand this down to them because the, the gameplay itself, let me switch from the charts, is super unique. Like this is... Uh, I don't think so. We ever covered no. a casual game this kind of unique because yeah. it has so much physics-based gameplay. Yeah, and it's and it's not only a gimmick; it's literally part of the gameplay. is like very very utilized to the actual core gameplay that is super unique. So let me let me just kind of show it a little bit for those that haven't seen it yet. Um, so the game is literally about untangling these kind of ropes or whatever you have there. Uh, the important part is that it's time-based. I think it's following the trend as we've seen with games such as like Match Factory and this whole kind of match genre when you have this 3D mess on the screen and you need to kind of click on three of the same or like you have the you know like tile busters kind of setup where there's a bar on the bottom and lots of companies are actually getting into it there's a little bit of physics in that category as you kind of rumbling through the mess but here is on a completely different level the physics here is the main kind of core gameplay so uh one thing like why do you have like such terrible set of of these tangles i mean it looks that's the premium ones that you can buy for 2300 coins you mean like the skins that I'm using? Yeah, I yeah. just like those. This is what this is what you like? Yeah. Jesus Christ! <laughs> For those very fourteen listening? years old. <laughs> Go teenager or like what's what's happening to you? What do you have donuts there? What can go wrong? He paid money for that. <laughs> donuts are fine, but those those no, flesh. No, I didn't pay money. I didn't no, no, pay no, money no, you can, you can These are this. in the ad offers. We will go to it. Yeah. So. <laughs> Just saying, like you go and you untangle these things like this, and you see already the ragdoll physics here, how important it is, and how you pretty much kind of smashing these things around, how they move, how they're kind of connected to each other. It's it's literally very, very important, and we are back at that problem that when I'm talking about the game, I can actually play it, so I'm doing completely stupid things. But yeah, then sure, as you sure, sure, untangle sure, sure. these things, they disappear, as you see here, as what, what, what was I just said there. And the very nice thing about this that there's literally no randomness within levels there's zero randomness so what you can do is if you fail a level if you return to it later actually you are you have a bigger chance to solving it because you know some of the things that you did you can do again and you yeah. literally like build upon that knowledge within the level yeah you can prep yeah you can prep in, in advance like what you want to do uh, based on the the previous try so so for me, th- this is like one of the most enjoyable things because I literally know that, oh, it was like this one more move here, or I could have done that. And then I, you know, restart the game and actually do it what I wanted to do. So this is not your usual puzzler with like, you know, difficult well, dynamic yeah, adjustment, you, whatever, you something, something. You did yeah, it, man. Amazing. Yeah. Congratulations. Uh, so one, Two more levels and you got me. So, so for me... <laughs> So for me, the gameplay is very unique. It literally uses a lot of these very specific, um, how do you call them, physics-based mechanics. The on-ramp is very good. And we'll get to what they changed and what was done in the game, in the builds before and in the current build, because I think this, this kind of goes like hand in hand why the game is making so much more money. It's not only some... You know, random whatever we slap in skip it or something. If I, there is, there I, are skip it. There, there are, are skip it. But I, as I was looking into Sensor Tower regarding the most frequent IP purchases, it was all in soft currency. There's zero skip it actually. You know? Of course, yeah, I can imagine. So because uh, yeah, it's just like the casual casual game all over again. It's just like one, you know, like you're failing one level and it's like, okay, my fucking guy, I need to just pass this level. So what are you going to do? Just, you know, you need, you, need, you buy mm, the boosters. 
yeah, yeah. for so for for currency. But but honestly, like there's not really that much to it regarding the like features yeah, like of the game. There's not that many things that you can buy actually. If right? I understand correctly, they actually remove stuff from it because if you look at the game, the store is very very simple. There's yeah. literally not even your usual come get free stuff for an ad or because no, of... Like why? Th- there's even not that. There are skip it and there's your usual set of like, you know, casual games offers I that you have like have unlimited lives shop. and like... My shop looks completely different to I... that. Ooh, oh, really? I don't have the bundles. That's interesting. Uh, okay, I have, only, I have the I have bundles. Same thing, I have bundles only. Uh, then there's the special like offers for unlimited lives. One Which that's I've... for an ad, one that's for like hard, uh, real world money. There's the starter offer, but that's the same one that's like sitting yeah, on the yeah, shop. Yeah. There's no ads offer, but then there's the main saga, and that's it. This is kind of very simple. And then there are these like three different kind of vectors of cosmetics, which is the ropes, <laughs> the pins, and back. You chose the and ugliest one, like out of the three. Yeah, right. It's like what's <laughs> <laughs> why? Like, why? Dear listeners, God, you're come to God, YouTube. No, decorator because come to youtube and you can you can tell us which one is the ones you like the most (laughs) well definitely not this i mean i mean i tried and i almost puked like what the fuck okay i have to like the basics okay whatever i just you know as as they were coming on because of the ad offers probably they stayed there sure, and didn't sure, really care. Sure, of course yeah, yeah 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 anyway exactly the important thing there the important are these thing is this trigger i need race. to remove my eyes now <laughs> this, this is like Where's the bleach? Fuck, I need to put the bleach in my eyes. <laughs> Go look at some cats. So, yeah. <laughs> so there's the trigger events happening, which are... This is, very... this is the trigger event. What are you doing? <laughs> Yeah. Okay, so sorry, continue, sorry. So there are the trigger events happening, similar ones that are we seen around in like Monopoly Go, even in Block Jam, that kind of trigger themselves, they pitch you against probably just bots on a very kind of short term mm. timer, like three to five hours, and you just they just reinforce you to play the main saga. There's nothing to it. You don't really need to care about the events doing anything or learning something. It's just like play, 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 and finish as 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 much levels as possible and beat hopefully all the other guys until you know you beat them and you get the price, which is just soft currency. So that's there. Uh, I think I saw just this one during my whole journey with this game, and there was no other one, and there was no the point no, that I two were only, running at once. Yeah, I only saw this one. Which is completely to contrast with Block Jam, which has like, I don't know, like five yeah, or ten. six different <laughs> templates. Yeah, five, that are, five, yeah. That are sometimes, like you have those bridges where the bomb is, you have the but balloons, you have the whatever. Yeah, it's the same thing all over again. It's just yeah, like same different thing visuals. Over again, but, but at least it's templatized a little bit and it's like rotates. Here you just have that one. which And it's not that frequent it, actually. Ah, like it's Ooh. like once per once two days. Per, yeah, something like that. Yeah, I guess there's some internal cooldown timer within the game that kind of triggers that. But like, yeah. Anyway, the important part again with Saga, and this is, I think, one of the like uh, the changing uh, features that kind of did the impact, is that you have these hard and very hard oh, levels. Yes. And I've seen it proven by some games that even if you announce that there will be a hard level it actually increases the retention because people want challenge in this category mm. and in the genre so not having a challenge is actually a problem if we go to the previous builds of the game let me share Ooh. the screen for here a little Ooh, bit as i was digging through it nice. so there were actually there were actually these challenges that they Ooh. had there and you could see that you have, let's say, this kind of a new challenge, reach level 15. So they were unlocked as you progress to the main saga, and only then you could get back to him. They were hard and epic. And notice that you would need to first buy the challenge, like here, for 75 uh, gold. And then when you play the challenge, you actually get 200. So they had this other mode there within mm. the game. It was actually based on moves, not time. Ooh, not time. Okay. Which is, again, something very very different but if i understand correctly this was completely removed because i never seen this in within no, the i game. never seen it well Ex- honestly i was kind of expecting this like unfolding gameplay but if it's unfolding after like 200 500 levels that that's interesting uh, it's probably not there that's my guess because one of the things Maybe that i removed, think is yes. that uh, like uh, as our friends would say less is more here yes that's true because if you see just the main ui here by the way this is the 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 the, the ui that that literally nearly every hybrid uses yeah i mean okay. the, the guy that did the asset bag in unity store is like sitting somewhere in bahamas probably yeah you have five uh, uh buttons here but then eventually it's free only now 
Yeah, yeah. So my guess is there was some heavy iteration, and probably one of the things that I think happened here is that they see that rather than putting the hard content out of the main saga, they put it on the main saga. Mm. Because if you look into the levels, and let's say I found this old playthrough where you have, let's say, whatever level, let's say 96. Yeah, 96. You see how small the levels are? There's no yeah, barriers, there's nothing. Yeah. There's like not really these kind of new mechanics that we have here currently. So my guess is that they ditch the challenges completely and put them on the main saga so there's mm. just one linear mode which yeah. now drives the retention. Could be. Seems seems like to me, because the ramp up of these mechanics is very good currently. It's like you have these, I don't know, the nodes that are fixed that you cannot move, then yeah. you have like three three point nodes, then you have these kind of sticks that you literally need to move your yeah, like, around finger. It, yeah, tangle yeah. around it, yeah. Uh, 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 then you have keys, then you have, I don't know, like these very, very They're unique... also like blocked uh, spaces where you can't just land the... You yeah, know... exactly. So, so you have these mechanics that are currently in the main saga and you're just reinforcing the main saga with these trigger events. So this kind of screams to me that it was not that linear. Now it's much more linear, much more streamlined, much more difficult as it was oh, yeah. before. It was... Or yeah, let's this say is the super difficulty... easy. Like, this 96, like this feels like, I mean, no challenge yeah. at all. The, the difficulty was probably just kind of a optional before. Now it's mandatory. Mm. That's that's the thing. I think there and... is like every five levels, there is a hard level and then, yeah, then, yeah. then Something there's a very hard like level. Yeah. Five levels. There's like the hard level and then comes the very hard level. Yeah. Like hard levels... To be honest, like if you're good, you can still get them like on first try, but very hard levels are literally like five, yeah, it, five it's six really lives. Yeah, windows. it's challenging. Yeah, it's challenging. So, so that's there. Uh, last thing I had here, I think it's, it's the same. Just like kind of was looking through these kind of other gameplays and like these seems kind of completely, like a completely different game regarding the difficulty. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, so if you return to the main game, so what I think happened regarding the thing is that they not only uh, made the game more straight regarding player progression so there's no these optional challenges they increase the difficulty they put on trigger events they put on skip it they put on some visual prog visual progression with cosmetics which again i didn't see in here uh, in the previous builds and yeah it seems money started you know dropping from the sky that's, <laughs> well, they made that, it that's how i see it because um, I wouldn't say simpler. Actually, as I said, the complexity of the mechanics was put in the main saga. They make it more straight yeah, rather than simpler. So that's my guess because what, like how these puzzle games and like casual games monetize is that the level curve is the retention curve. Hmm. So literally the blockers are the ones that are driving revenue because you need to use boosters, you need to use soft currency, you run out of lies, blah, blah, blah. Those are like gating mechanisms. So my guess is they just rebalance the game to be much more like a real puzzle, like, I don't know, Royal Match or Candy Crush or something in that matter. And now it's literally doing what it should because there's, yeah, there's a different different setup here. And of course they simplify the end of the level like whatever winning thing when you when you win a level uh, there's this kind of a there was this yeah this thing the well, let me show you the wheel where sorry what the fuck are you talking about this one this this is not there anymore oh, okay. so, there's so not this, there anymore, yeah. this is just simplified into one with doubling the reward that's one with like not the doubling anything but you get serve an interstitial anyway so and then you also have uh, a way more currency for hard level and very hard level which is yes. usually the very one you want you want to double and I guess, yeah you yeah. want to double so you get what like 15 coins for each level which i mean i don't fucking care but if you have like 200 versus 400 it kind of makes sense because then when you're stuck on the hard level very hard level you can actually buy time like 20 seconds for like 900 coins and that usually helps at least when you know we are very close to winning the level but not exactly one like you didn't exactly win the level then that kind of uh, helps by the way it multiplies uh, not multiplies it's additive that once you prolong the time to add 20 more seconds the next time you like within the same level, if you want to again prolong twenty more seconds, it gets much higher. It's of not course. your usual nine hundred coins; it's like one thousand six hundred or something. Yeah, yeah, makes sense. So, so the soft well, currency, you know? the soft currency sink is very deep. Not only within these kind of cosmetics, which also kind of cost yeah, a just lot. Put it away, please. Put it away. <laughs> 
my eye. Oh, oh, thank you. But then the, the other things there. Regarding the ad placements, uh, yeah, there are the ones at the end of the level. There are the ones here in the hard offers. There are the ones that you can add one more life if you mm. don't have max. I think this one is a little bit hidden. And then that's pretty much it. I don't know if I've seen something in the shop or somewhere else. It's actually mm. pretty, um, pretty kind of a short, oh, not short, sorry. Very few at, uh, rewarded at placements, actually. That yeah. I've seen there. Pretty much. Yeah. So, Felix, do you want to tell us something about yeah. how to add since revenue? I'm, looks like? Since I'm lagging here, there's quite a lot I want to say, but it's super interesting because, like you said, there's not that many rewarded ads. There's interstitial ads that show up after the level. But for me, the most oh. interesting thing is how they start showing banner ads later on and much later on. And that's mm. a big tell. So since I'm lagging, I'll just be super quick and to the point. I no, estimate yeah, this game yeah, is making somewhere between 70 to 85K a day uh, in ads. Ooh. But Ouch. that's about 40K. But because of the banners and them adding it later, that's a big tell. So basically, I think this is a majority IAP driven game and not ad revenue. So I think that the sadness multiplier here is definitely not taking the revenue into account. And I think probably mm. the true ad revenue is somewhere between 20 to 30% and probably somewhere on the lower end if you take everything mm. into account. Really? Mm. At 25, 30% ad revenue, I think. Yeah, because also if they're getting that many IAPs, ECPMs also increased drastically. So I calculated with $40, cents, uh, $40 ECPMs in the US and then uh, pretty much 18 worldwide. But I think if they're earning that much AIP, ECPMs on reward are probably closer to 80 in the US. And mm. I think probably this is a mainly IAP driven game. Uh, yeah. So what was the overall revenue then? Just to get the get the final number. Seventy five to eighty five K a day. Uh but so I two hundred K way... a day overall revenue, we're assuming. Yeah. Yeah. So mm -hmm. I think the IAP estimates that we're seeing are way off. And I don't think this game has made three mm. million in the last thirty days. I think it's more closer to six. Okay. Yeah, yeah, because there's not sense. that much ad revenue. There's not that many impression opportunities, and they don't show it that often. And usually when you work with games like this, when you take out banners from the start, which they do, that usually is a signal that you have high IAP-making users or a high portion of IAP-making users. Yeah, that's the so same thing we've yeah. seen with the uh, Madbox guys with Poker Champs, that they want to preserve the, like, a exactly. little bit more premium feel in the beginning. Yeah. Yeah, but then you have you have uh, interstitials after every fucking level. Like, come on. Like, that's, yeah, but you that's can remove soup, it from, from soup, nine euros, soup, right? From the very beginning. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. That's what I did immediately. Fuck <laughs> my life. No, seriously, I was like, I was like, I can't play this game with like every game, every level. <laughs> interstitials every level. Yeah, it's just like it's no no way. It's like I, I just can't. So it was quite uh, quite annoying. I mean. I I tried this trick with uh, no Wi-Fi, but hey, guys, you nailed it. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to play Internet it on the plane connection and I was so all sad. the way. Yeah, me too, me too. I was like, oops, how about no? Thank you very much, guys. But uh, I mean, uh, what can you do? What can you do? Okay, so so that's uh, a teach from your end. Then uh, easy. <clears throat> you can I you mean, can play a little bit, say, and then I can, I can... <laughs> Yeah, you can you can say. Don't worry, just go on. Don't go on, you can continue. Tell us. No, I think it's a really interesting game because to say, I, I think this I'm game is, is more a casual game, if I'm really honest, because it's not hybrid, because it's just majority revenues here must come from IAPs and not ads. And it's really interesting to see Rolex take a step in this direction. Well, I guess, I mean, at some point we need to really um, define what hybrid casual means because, in my opinion, this is quite hybrid because how it, because of how it looks like. And, you know, you can't just take that away from, from the game. And it started yeah. as, as a big hyper-casual game before. So, the I mean, thing is that big casual games currently, like Playrixes, yeah. Dream Games, is, they have giant production value budgets. Yeah. You know, the VFX, everything, you know, it's literally like... There's, I don't know, multiple people just making sure the VFX is like to the point. Yeah, it's super Here, polished. It's like very quick, dirty, done by like a small team. 
and it still looks quite good, except yeah, exactly. like these fucking tangles. But yeah, it's like that's that's not your. Yeah, I mean, that's not. But yeah, that's your choice. <laughs> so that's fine. Okay. Anyway. Anyway. Anyway, we can uh, we can you can play and we can we can wait how you fail and then we can see the the winning screen afterwards or maybe I just uh, motivated you to to win the the level. But anyway, I'm just gonna check how how it's gonna look like in terms of the download so we had this like you mentioned i had last six months actually in the charts for um, revenues and downloads uh so we are using sensor tower so thank you very much guys for uh for giving us the, the access and uh, allowing us to share the data so there was a, like an uptick in terms of the downloads in the last yeah let's say three months and the peak was like two weeks ago, but then it kind of was a weird mix of, of a little bit of US, but then a lot of tier four countries. So majority of the of the revenue is actually coming from US and it's like 90%, right? So <laughs> that's uh, that says it all. So now they scale down from 300,000 downloads to actually yeah, 70, 76, 80, which is like 20, 25k from that is US only. So it makes all the sense uh, when the, the revenue is coming from the US only and then like few tier one countries, but it's like 90%, 90% revenues. Uh, if I'm looking at this in terms of the devices, yeah, majority is actually, it's iOS, guys. So it's 70%. Oh, iOS was dead? No. Yeah, I, yeah, I thought iOS is dead, right? Uh, oof. How about that? I mean, we we heard a lot of things about the mobile gaming industry is close to dead, and we see this every fucking week, all day long. Uh, it's actually still live and kicking. Yeah, and like actually, honestly, like we have so many games that are currently like aggressively scaling in revenue to cover that we don't have enough slots. Honestly. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> and these are these are our great. Friends from Estoti, actually, you are you are seeing the, uh, <laughs> the Okay, let me let me take over the the screen, and uh, yeah, I just wanna I just wanna share the I just wanna share uh, how the long downloads are looking and whatever is here. I mean, it's seventy well eighty five percent is i it's iOS, and then fifteen percent in terms of the revenue is actually Android. Even though seventy percent of downloads is just coming from from uh from android right uh but then let's see in terms of the countries this is what i was talking about uh and if i'm going to do like last not last 90 days it's basically yeah india was all <laughs> kind of getting a lot of instance but then we have us which is quite stable but in terms of net revenue yeah it's just yeah 75 percent coming from us and then we have uk japan canada but you, you know you see 4.4 million in last 90 days and then the rest is like 300,000 so it's very very small very very small uh outside of us uh but it's fine i mean i can take that uh, it's uh it's all good do we know like let's see if we have some kind of uh what do we have not this but actually retention yes retention numbers so I mean, yeah, it's U.S. only quarter. Let's try to have two thousand, no, twenty-three. The last quarter, if we actually get something, because I guess it's yeah okay. We can get the the last quarter of um, of Q twenty twenty-three when they started scaling a little bit. But I guess forty percent day one. Day seven fifteen, and then we have one percent day ninety. I guess that's like the the classic retention profile of the of the hybrid, right? So let's see. Yeah, I, it's I'm definitely not sure. that big as the casual one. Yeah, I'm pretty sure like they this is just early numbers because they started doing this hybrid kind of pivot in December. So we have very few amounts of data, but still, uh, you can see like how how it looks like. Anyway, so that's that for the the retention, the the geo split. How about the U, the actual UA? So, what do you think is the biggest channel? Guess what? Max. 
Yeah, it's up loving, obviously. Up loving for sure. Uh, yeah, it's hundred percent up loving. But the thing is, like here in the in the um, breakdown of the networks, I mean, they have basically everything. And now they they started running Moloko also very recently. So like all the all the checks in all the boxes, so we can we can uh, check different things. But in in terms of like the the share of networks and impressions, it's up loving, and then we have liftoff, and then we have some unity. So. If you are trying to get any Facebook, not really. If we check March only, it's up loving again, Unity, Lift of, and, and I'm pretty sure it's going to get uh, more and more into Moloko as well. I'm a little what do bit you think is a target age group? I don't see Google. I can, yeah, I can, I can just show you right here in this, uh, in this, in this creative, and you will see immediately. Um, do you, do you kind of recognize the, the well, I, I, IQ creative? Uh, yeah, oh, the, nice. the, the brain and then like the the thing in here. Oh, can you hear this? Yeah. It's farting sound. Like, why is it farting sound? Interesting. Oh, okay. So here we have a user boosters, everything. This is playable, by the way. So it's interesting. I don't really get why is there's a farting sound. It's really disturbing. <laughs> I okay. heard that it's kind of... A lot of hi- hybrids use this. A lot of who? A lot of hybrids use this in creatives. Farting sound? Mm-hmm. What? Yes. Jesus Christ. Now you, know, you might be the best uh, UA manager after all on, uh, <laughs> on the podcast. Anyway, uh, it's it's really kind of disturbing, to be honest. Anyway, so this is, yeah, so I guess you can see the 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 main target group. Of this, and we can just check some of the creatives in here. I'm done. They have a lot of playables. Say what the main target group is just for the listeners. Oh, yeah, for the listeners, uh, it's older female, I would say. I mean, most like most likely, like all the other casual titles, uh, it's female 30, 35 plus. Uh, I mean, US is their main country, so kind of makes sense and they have a lot of playables but i just don't want to hear the farting sound uh anymore so hopefully we can actually watch some some other creatives it's uh, you know it's uh it's 40 percent male 60 percent female every case yes. 37 just okay. check it out nice nice um, i mean it makes sense uh we have obviously okay there is no at least there is no um uh, it's farting sound. But so there see... is again like a very unique sound that connects the dots. Okay, how is in a, this is more like a screwdriver? ASMR creative. <laughs> Ooh, I mean, <laughs> I mean, if I close one ear, one ear, or maybe both ears, and then uh, I mean, it could be like that. That's true. And this is a funny thing. So it's one one minute long creative, and guess what? It's just the same creative, it's just uh, looped, looped. <laughs> yeah, so thirty minutes, thirty second loop, the same. But you say you have the I cannot untie the knot, uh, and we have just black and white type of creative. And uh, guess what? We are just seeing the the gameplay. I mean, it's not that surprising. Then we have a little bit altered. Hey, you are right. Creative. It sounds. Like uh, really, uh, really interesting. I know it's it's important, but it's actually yeah, well, it's quite nice. Uh, so this is a little bit more complex. Uh, well, complex, I guess, complex in terms of the how the creative looks like, and it's more, it looks like a cake actually, cake with nuts. <laughs> it's the iteration of gameplay. Yeah, it, yeah, I would say I wouldn't call this cake. Sure. It's pretty much iteration of gameplay. Just, yeah, yeah, but then you would. Be very, you know, surprised to see the different. Ooh, I guess this is quite old, but still, uh, in February they were running this uh, um, Christmas theme or Christmas-oriented creatives. But you know, like you can you can go and just do a little bit better with this. Let's see what kind of hook we are using. What was what? that? What? What? What the fuck was that? <laughs> <Some kind> of... <laughs> What like, the fuck? What did, controlled what the fuck? destruction of some engineering hook thing? I've seen yeah, I was, in I was like, like months. <laughs> it's literally like sandworm. Yeah, sandworm. I was yeah, I was. Yeah, I'm not sure. I was expecting this actually to end like a like a toilet outside of the home or something. <laughs> wow. 
<laughs> yeah, well, this is just interesting. Okay, and we have, I mean, we have a lot of different queries. Let's just look at uh, like what's, what's running in, in March, which is, again, the same thing what we just saw. So, but honestly, on Apple, I mean, there's not that many uh, different things that you can uh, you can expect. But let's say we try TikTok only. I'm really curious to see. Okay. So, Creating challenge. Okay. Ooh. You have the video. I mean, this is just like stock, stock footage of a person playing the, the game with like weird, weird music in the background. So I, I would... Like, why don't you just show the really hard gameplay? You like, mean the what? one with all the mechanics? The, like, yeah, the level exactly. 95 and some yeah, stuff yeah, like that? Yeah, because like you are kind of like pausing the... Uh, ooh, wow. Oh my God. I, I, I knew I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see weird shit on Facebook. You cannot anti the pacifier. So we are seeing crying babies. Which are tied together with their pacifiers. That's amazing. I mean, okay. Okay, now we're, now we're talking. <laughs> um, also, this target audience, uh, I mean, I kind of see more and more baby-oriented creatives for for female. Um, really? Female. Yeah, yeah. You mean like freezing babies and stuff no, like freezing, that? No, 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 freezing babies. Like, um, like the one that Playrix runs? On... No, 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 not like, okay. Again, okay. Uh, this is bit, interesting. This is interesting again. Uh, oh my God, like this is so, so weird and so great at the same time wow okay nice uh, so again, there's no crying sound no crying sound but at, le uh, at least yeah, it's it's visual but the same thing you know what it is mm. it's just like the same iteration of the iteration yeah. other creative concept yeah and then yeah it's just like this is it right it's like okay well me we have again like a little bit of crying okay. babies so the whole chessboard of crying babies yes so but it's exactly the same concept that we saw before. So again, we are kind of lacking the the depth of the the creative creation. concepts. Mm. Yeah, I would again like you have so many different levels and so many different combinations. Why not using the hard levels uh, just to show that? Like it's like it's actually challenging. And I like those hard levels. Uh, okay, so we have different backgrounds. Uh, again, we have. Ah, some... that's that's the one I would use. Yeah, we have uh, mul yeah we have mul multiple obstacles in here or sticks. It's the same sound again, right? Mm -hmm. Some kind of a screw, something mechanical. It is like sound. a screwdriver. Yeah. Yeah. But here we go. In uh, at least they have like multiple um, multiple playables. I mean, it makes a lot of sense if when you are running majority of the. Uh, of the UA on, on Unity and then, uh, well, Aplavin and then Unity and other, uh, other networks. But still, mm. um, unlock other channels than, than Aplavin, like that would really, really need to happen. By the way, any guess what has happened with that spike in India? Um, I would just say like a worldwide campaign, honestly. Mm -hmm. Okay. Or maybe it was, uh, it could be uh, featuring as well, which, you know, how random it is. Yep. Oh, nice. We have a nail. Okay. We have an emoji, and then the. But that's it. Oh my God, this nail is so terrible. I mean, I have like, do you, who do you think is is actually running the the campaigns? Is it take? Is it Zynga or is it uh, Rolik themselves? Or my is guess it, is Rolik because keep in mind so? that Rolik is a former hyper casual publisher now trying to go hybrid, and the main expertise of hyper casual publisher is running UA and analytics. Yeah, true. But then I guess yeah, that's true. Because also like yep. Social Point has their own UA team, I guess Inga as well, and then Small Giant also the same team. Uh, well, they, their own team. So I guess this is the same. Okay, guys. I mean, you can do way better in this. Uh, anyway, okay. So I guess like that's it. So all the networks. Uh, <laughs> it's uh, it's gonna be interesting. It's gonna be very interesting. Integral, Unity, Facebook. Uploving, Moloko, lift off. Okay. No TikTok. There is one, like there is TikTok, but it's like one creative, so I guess it's not that 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 big. Ah, oh, this is the one with the yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, it's it's kind human. of growing a little bit. So, uh, but mm -hmm. one, I, yeah, I mean, it's like it's uh, it's in the time of data, so I guess we can we can see a little bit more. Okay. Anyway, that's uh yeah, that's 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 about pretty much it, right? 
Mm. Pretty much it. So what rating time? Yeah. Ooh, six <laughs> guys. I can see. I mean, a lot of UA channels, but not a not a lot of creatives. So six six uh, from admon fix basically this is not an ad monetized okay. game this is straight up iap like mainly okay okay so i'm i'm giving like nine because the gameplay is like super unique and the way how they scale the mechanics and like how probably what i assume has happened here how they rebalance the progression and join and merge the challenges into the main saga correct me if i'm wrong here if somebody knows but like this seems like an excellent thing it's not really easy feat to literally rebalance the whole game completely regarding the difficulty to make it like change into different engine because it was ad engine before now it's a ip engine uh the thing that i'm missing uh is that i would do more events these kind of trigger events not different events just more of the same what you have there and a little bit more uh kind of uh like the cosmetic progression, whatever's there, a little bit more depth there. Uh, that probably will need to get there anyway. Because as Alvaro said, these games evolve and need to evolve. Yeah. Like they can continue in this state as they are long term. They need to move like one much higher anyway. Nice. Nice. Thank you very much for, for listening. And also for, thank you very much for uh, bringing this to, to our attention again. And uh, yeah, thanks also for subscribing and then commenting and liking the videos on YouTube and uh, giving us rating on Spotify and Apple. It, it really helps us to, to improve the, the show. Yeah, and uh, the teaser for next time as we <laughs> will finish the series of the Forex. So for those who want to know what's the game, we'll be tagging along, join our Slack. Uh, it's going to get announced now. And yeah, uh, big uh, mind-blowing discoveries that we'll probably Ooh. show in the next one. Yes, stay tuned. And stay tuned. Uh, thank you. Cheers. Bye -bye. See ya.